And if you compare his face to before, you can see that it's contorted now. Something that no one has noticed yet, but I have, because I've dealt with demon-possessed people. And Don is showing the contortions in his face, especially when he's channeling the spirit. He claimed to be talking for God, and he would sit there and pause for a minute, and kind of bow his head. And my parents, especially my mother, would tell me that he was receiving revelation in that moment. Really? That God was saying, this is what you need to say to your people, and then he would say it to us. So he was planning to speak that with God directly. You have placed your eyes upon me and my eyes upon you. My desire is toward you and your desire is toward me in holy union. For I, the Lord, am your husband and you are my wives. Okay, so we're continuing our series on Don Smith, the false prophet and false teacher. So today I want to give a warning here at the beginning of the video that this video is not for children. So if there are any children in the room, they must leave. This is for adults only because they are topics that are adult topics. And you want to make sure that the children aren't watching or hearing uh, what's being said in this video. Because I'm going to show uh, a couple of videos. One of them is Don Smith. And another one is another video about a cult. And it contains some uh, references to their behavior that may be troubling for children to hear. With that having been said, let's get started. This is Don Smith, by the way, preaching from his home to his group. And that's people who come to his home there in Louisiana, and also people on the internet who join through YouTube, through live streaming. Really, young ladies, the best thing is to leave your life in the hands of God to destruct them. America's scariest cult is in a small town in Arizona, where child trafficking, arranged marriage, and having multiple wives is the norm. No, because I ended up with 35 siblings. This town is ruled by the FLDS, or the Fundamentalist Church of Latter-day Saints, the most extreme branch of Mormonism. Its members idolize a man named Warren Jess, a religious leader on the FBI's most wanted list, who is now serving a life sentence in prison for sex crimes against children. I want to learn more about the dark side of polygamy in America. I'm going to be meeting up with a guy named Sam who left the community, but is kind enough to meet me there and take me around the bizarre community that he grew up in. All right, so you're probably wondering why I'm showing you this video. It's not the whole video. I've, I've taken just the parts that are relevant to our discussion about Don Smith. And there is a good reason for showing this at this point. In among the videos that I've made on Don Smith now, which number, let's see, about 13. So this would be the 14th one I've made on Don Smith. Seven of them were made a year ago. And we gave him a year, and he got worse. And so now the Lord has put it into my lap to start again. And I have. Now, I don't know if any of you have heard of Warren Jeffs, but Warren Jeffs was the prophet of this branch of the LDS. LDS is the Mormons, the Latter-day Saints, as they've called themselves. This is the fundamentalist Latter-day Saints. It's very extremely fundamentalist compared to the normal Latter-day Saints you see around. To this group, the Mormons are liberals. That puts it in the right context. But then Warren Jeffs came along, and he made it even more extreme. And we're going to see some of the tactics that he used. We're going to compare and contrast with what's going on with Don's group at this stage. And we're going to cast a decision on his cultic behavior and cultic activity, that he has stepped onto the path of a cult leader, putting those people in danger. Don is channeling that lying spirit who came to him in a dream a year ago. And if you compare his face to before, you can see that it's contorted now, something that no one has noticed yet, but I have, because I've dealt with demon-possessed people. And Don is showing the contortions in his face, especially when he's channeling the spirit. So I want to just tell you what we're going to be doing here. This group uses almost identical language 
to Don Smith. And this is why you who are in his group or attending his group through the internet must listen closely, pay close attention, because you think that by him using the language he uses that he is authentic and a man of God. But here is a clear cult leader, one of the most extreme cult leaders in the United States, who has been convicted as a criminal, rightly so, who was using the same language that Don Smith was, doing the same practice as Don Smith was, and even more extreme ones that Don Smith is headed towards, as you can see by the trajectory of what he has started to do just lately since I've started making these videos. So that's what I want you to pay attention to. The words being used uh, by Warren Jeffs and also his tactics, his strategies, it'll be described by this man who left the group some time ago. And you'll hear from others in the video, like his wife, his 65th wife. Well, because his father, Rulin Jeffs, was the prophet before him. And Rulin Jeffs was very well respected. What do you mean by prophet? Like Jesus prophet? What? <laughs> Not quite, although some people would say that they are just as important as Jesus. Okay, this is very important to pay attention to. Now notice that he said that they treat these prophets who head the church almost as important as Jesus. There's some confusion sometimes between them and Jesus. And the reason is because, as you'll find out in a minute, they stand up before the congregation during the church service, and they will start speaking what is prophecy. That means they're speaking as if they are God speaking to the people. That's why there's confusion among the people about whether he is just Warren Jeffs or he is Warren Jeffs and Jesus Christ or God. And the same is true with Don Smith. And you'll see that today in the way that he does the same thing in his group. But yes, so they were the prophet, meaning the leader of all of the people. They claimed to be talking for God. And I mean, I remember Warren Jeff standing at the pulpit preaching to us, and he would sit there and pause for a minute and kind of bow his head. And my parents, especially my mother, would tell me that he was receiving revelation in that moment. Really? That God was saying, this is what you need to say to your people, and then he would say it to us. So, so he was claiming to speak that with God directly. So that's what Don is doing. And you'll see it and you'll hear it. He will say, I, the Lord, blah, 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 blah. You have hearkened into my word when I brought correction. You have said, yes, Lord, and have not hesitated. Therefore, I am your father, and you are my children. And I will pour my, my strength upon you because that your heart is perfect toward me, it's pure, to follow me no matter what you, what you think or say. I see your heart. I've tried your reins, and you've come forth pure. Continue in my love. Sister Flavia, Sister Bridget, Sister Linda, for great is your reward. I give you peace in the midst of trouble. I give you joy in the midst of turmoil. For you look to be and have I not been there? Did I not strengthen you? Did I not speak to you? Did I not make you strong in the midst of it? No man can take away your joy. No one. For I, the Lord of your joy, saith the Lord. You have placed your eyes upon me and my eyes upon you. My desire is toward you and your desire is toward me in holy union. For I, the Lord, am your husband and you are my wives. Continue.
Okay? So he's prophesying, claiming to be speaking from God, hearing from God at that moment and speaking it to the people present. Okay? Compare the two. Just because he's doing that doesn't mean that he is speaking from God because Warren Jeffs did exactly the same thing and his father, Ruin Jeffs, did the same thing. And Warren Jeffs was a criminal, a fraud, and you'll find out even bigger fraud because he wiretapped everyone in the city. Yeah. And then he used that on stage. Using that information. Oh, Sister Lydia. Blah, blah, blah. Saying something that was in a conversation she had on, on the phone. And she thought only God could know that and Warren Jeffs couldn't. And so it must be from God. And God's telling Warren Jeffs Then she feels guilty. My point is this. Just because Don is making a show to speak from God, and that he's hearing from God. I'm not saying he's not hearing something from some spirit. I'm saying he is. But it's not God. It's that lying demon that he fornicated with a year ago. And he's not let go of. He has not repented. And I called him to repentance. I showed him why it was a lying spirit. And he got prideful and egoistic and started attacking me instantly like that. Yeah, and he never repented. Now, this is not just a brother confronting a brother. This is a commissioned leader in the church who's been commissioned by two bodies as a pastor in two churches and confirmed again by a seminary, which is a body of pastors, who is casting judgment on someone who is supposedly a leader, who has started fornicating with a lying spirit and claiming God said something to him in a dream. And so I evaluated it to see if it is from God. And it was very clear that it was not God speaking, but a lying spirit who's a demon. So he's channeling this spirit, and he is hearing from that spirit, and he does think that spirit is God. He says so from the dream. Warren Jeffs thought he was hearing from God too. Was he? He was molesting children at the time, by the way. He was trafficking in children. Yep. 12 years old, 10 years old. So, was he hearing from God? You think so? Don Smith is in sin. Don Smith has been in sin this whole time and has not repented. How do I know? Because the sin was against me. There were a few sins he committed against me he has never repented of. I told him, I said, when you're ready to repent, Send me an email. No emails. Period. Zero. And he has, again, sinned against me recently with gossip, as you can see in one of those videos I've made. Not only that, he's been lying about what God said. All right, let's keep on with this. So what I'm saying is that just because there's he, he appears to be doing something from God, and he's claiming he's speaking from God, don't believe it. Here's a clear case of a cult leader who is committing atrocities against children. He was molesting his own children as well, by the way. You'll find that out in this video. That, I give you the group phone because of just thinking about the power. It's almost like totally engulf a community, and they are the Lord to a community. 100 per se? Yes. Warren Jeff. Now, understand, I'm not saying that Don is molesting some children or something like that. What I'm saying is that you have two men here who are doing the same thing, claiming the same things, and you're accepting one just on, on what he says. But you don't know. And I've already proven, well, you do know, because I've already proven in these videos, as a commission leader in the church of Jesus, that he is following a lying spirit. He has joined himself to the lying spirit. He actually has joined himself to the lying spirit. You've got to watch my original videos from last year. That's the playlist. I'll put it up here so you can go watch it. Was as a king, a ruler, a god, yes, they engulf a community and they are the Lord. Let me go back just a little bit. That's, I give you the goosebumps because of just thinking about the power. It's almost like totally engulf a community and they are the Lord to a community. 100 per se? Yes. Warren Jeffs was as a king, a ruler, a god people would obey everything he said to do. 
That's what is happening with Don Smith. Don Smith tells wives, do not obey your husbands. And what do they do? They tell their husbands, I will not obey you. And they go do what they want to. Their husbands are trying to protect them against Don Smith. And these wives have been mesmerized by a seducing spirit that is being channeled by Don Smith. The same spirit that mesmerized Don in his dream and seduced him. He is channeling and is seducing these women. And there's only one way that can go, and it's very bad. Including law enforcement. Including all the so law He owned everything. You mean he, as a person, literally owned it. He, he was the owner, the landlord, the everything. Yep. The he, made, he made all of the people. Well, they're very industrious here. A lot of people have or had big companies, like construction companies. And he made all of them sign those companies over to the trust so that he could even own that. So did you? Did anyone feel like they were being scammed, or they just went with it? No one felt like they were being scammed, including myself, until you left. Notice what he said. He's, and notice what he said. No one felt like they were being scammed until they left. Notice what has happened to those who have left. Now, he's had one or two people who have come back and, and testified that, oh, my life went into shambles when I left, you know, and... And I started drinking, or I started doing this, and I started going back to the world, and, and I knew that I had to come back. But that doesn't have to do with Don's group being holy. That has to do with what they did with their life after they left the group. They didn't find another group, another church, and plug in. They went and just did whatever they wanted. So that's on them. But as he says... After you leave, then you realize that you're being scammed. And these husbands who did leave and still are wanting their wives to leave, they realize for sure it was a scam after they left. They had the suspicion, and they backed off, and then they realized, yes, this is absolutely a scam. Mm -hmm. Once you left and look back, yeah. Then you realize, oh, <laughs> what the heck was going on there? Right. We give this lesson to the young people. We have to teach you how to think and how to live in a pure way. I mean, All right, so doesn't that sound familiar, what he just said? No, I'm there. Right. We give this lesson to the young people. We have to teach you how to think. We have to teach you how to think. And how to live. And how to live. In a pure way. In a pure I mean, way. This is Don's approach, too, is that he is saying, oh, we are living in a pure way and everyone else is sinning. Well, Don doesn't know everyone else in the world, does he? Does he? Does he? Don doesn't know everyone else in the world, and he's making an exaggerated, sweeping blanket claim against everyone outside of his group, so you feel like there's nowhere else in the world you can go except to him. He needs to teach you how to think. He needs to teach you how to live in a pure way. This is his message. Same as him. Just because he's giving this message doesn't mean he's from God. Any more than Warren Jeffs was from God for saying the exact same message. Now, Don is going to come back and tell you, oh, yeah, well, the devil always imitates preachers of righteousness. So then what is Don? Since he is in sin, he's not a preacher of righteousness. He's not righteous. He's wicked. He's as wicked as the apostate churches who say they cannot help but sin as long as they're in the body. Because Don, likewise, refuses to repent. Watch this last video I made where I said Don Smith is a coward. He's afraid to repent. Because he does not repent, it means he is the same as the person who says he cannot help but sin as long as he's alive and breathing. Don is saying, I don't need to repent as long as I'm alive and breathing. He is, he's also said, I've done no wrong. He has. He said it clearly during prayer time. He said, 
I swear to God, before God and man, I have done no offense to either God or man. He said that he's swearing to God that he has not caused any offense to God or to man. Well, then what is that that he's done to me? What is that that he's done to the husbands of those wives? If that's not offense, then what is offense? It's clearly offense. When he talks about my private business, whether what he's saying is true or not, he's still talking about my private business to people in that group. I don't know those people in that group. And I didn't give him permission to tell those things. You know what that sin is? It's a very specific sin that is rarely talked about in the churches because they love to do it so much, especially during prayer time. It's the sin of gossip. You can watch this video right here to see the sin of gossip. So like I said, you got Warren Jeffs and you got Don Smith saying the same things. This proves that you cannot say Don Smith is a man of God because he's saying these things that Warren Jeffs said. 